Morning. So it's what time is it actually? It is ten past. Sorry, ten to eight on a Sunday morning. Just dropped the missus off at work. There. Don't know if it's too bright or not. And we're off to the Free Shires Head in the Peak District this morning. I thought it was going to be a lot colder. To be fair, it's eight degrees. I was expecting more to be about three, four. Looking at the weather last night. Ow. Sorry, phones just fell off of my steering wheel and hit me in the balls. Uh, I didn't get up for sunrise because it's cloudy. It's going to be cloudy today. I don't know if you can see it out there. There's nothing. Might just get some some grey sky again and uh, maybe a black and white one. But we'll see how it goes. Going to try and do a couple of time lapses while I'm there. Maybe even the journey there and the journey back. Uh, you can get a nice, maybe a longer video today got myself a new bag so we're gonna see how that goes as well today it's not really a hiking bag but it's, it seems comfy it seems big and it fits my tripod which is the main thing uh, it's a Manfrotto street backpack just there or down there but I'll do a little chat about that at the end and see how it goes so I'll uh, see you in a bit Just parked up now, uh, gonna go for a wonder. Looks dull, overcast, there had a bit of sun on the way in driving. Might come out in the time lapse. Uh, looks windy. I think I've got about an half an hour, three quarters of an hour walk to get there now because there's no parking anywhere near it. And uh, well, yeah, we'll go from there, so I'll uh, catch up in a bit. Started walking down now from the car, as you can see the car's there, and all these started following me. I think of my father or something, but it, look. Bye bye. Well, interesting. Oh, one minute. Just walking down now. Uh, it's nicer than I, I remember. Been here twice before. Once with uh, my friend Brian. Uh, took, we actually drove right to the bottom of this path. I was in my old car, so had a little fiesta and we could just park there and just leave it really dump it, don't care what happened to it. Got an estate now bigger so can't really park down here. But and the last time I came I believe probably this time last year maybe around maybe even a little earlier where it was it was covered in snow. Uh, it was nice to look at but the pictures didn't really do much in a way. They were a bit dull and boring and greyed out. Still uploaded them just to uh, show people what it was like but this is what it's all about just I know I'm on a normal path and it's nice easy walk but it's just so peaceful apart from me waffling on now I've seen a couple of sheep pheasants I believe they were and yeah it's just so nice All of, even though just walking listening to the sound of the river did have my headphones on with my uh, on my phone with some music but it's just too peaceful right catch you later we're here now been here about five ten minutes it's freezing uh set up here as you can see hopefully you can see kind of getting that shot there if you can see it trying to get it so it leads in and but i'm not liking the sky at the minute it's just too dull, too boring. Uh, I've got a nine hard edge grad filter on there just to darken out to try and just give it some it really, but nothing's really happening. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, maybe ten, to see if anything happens because we've got a bit of bright coming up over there, and as you can see, they are slowly moving the clouds. Oh, hopefully you can see anyway. Just need to see what comes across and try and get that one picture with the sky that I'm after. So, uh, well, what I thought I'd do is just talk about my setup here, and uh, I don't know whether it's the right setup, 
or the wrong setup. But hopefully, if any photographers that are better than me out there want to comment, give me a shout. So what we've got is we've got this up here. Uh, oh, the clouds are looking a lot better. I might take a picture in a minute. Right, but we've got this here. And the sky was blown out. So what I've done is I've put a 9 ND or 0.9 ND hard out to try and just bring it in but my issue is obviously it's darkening these bits so I need to maybe bracket it or try and bring it out in post, -process post processing now what I've done so this one this one and this one I've done in uh, Joe three bracketed shots so I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can bracket them together and just bring out a bit of the green and the colour for where it's too dark. Now I don't know whether people would just bracket them or do just one and then try and get their brush and lightroom to bring it out on the exposure a little bit. Uh, what do people think? Comment if you can or we'll see how it comes out. Uh, but it's getting colder. Probably yesterday around here it was minus one and today's about three some cyclists have just told me. So it's, it's bitter. I think I've done it this spot now. I'm going to give it five more minutes because there's a little bit of cloud opening up there. I can see a bit of blue. So I might get a bit of blue in the sky, which might look a bit nice. Oh, also, shooting at about 1.13th of a second at ISO 100. And I think I'm at about just 25, 26 mil uh, focus. But hey ho, so see you soon. second spot here before I was over there near that tree now we're here just trying to get like a little picture like that with both the bridges in and with the water leading up not sure how it's going to look out it looks a little bit generic like everyone else's took but might come out well also GoPro's dying because I forgot to charge it like a dick and with having that time lapse before which was nearly 50 minutes driving uh, five seconds each time it took that could be why so don't know when my last video is going to be but i'll do one when i'm back if the battery runs out between now and then but this is the view that i've got now sky's coming out quite nice now but with this one i'm not having any sky i'm just getting the bridges at kind of the top water leading in but here we go so right Okay, I've moved even further down now. I was there a minute ago, over there near that tree before. Now I'm down here just to get a little one like that. I like the colours, the sky had a bit of blue in it, which was all good. Now I'm going to go see if I can find any more little shots. Uh, maybe over that way somewhere. It's what time we're on now. It's quarter past ten. I've been here probably, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Uh, it's getting very cold though and bitter and I haven't put many layers on so I'm going to call it a day soon and have another walk. I might go the long way around and see if I can see any more spots that way. Uh, but we'll see. Right, that's me done for the day. Well, here anyway, we'll see what there is on the way home. It's very windy as you can probably hear but for people that have not been, this is it. Got a load of cyclists. As you can see, there's one coming there, one there, one there, and this is where the three shires meet. Hence the three shires head. It's getting dull, getting cold. It looks like it's going to piss it down. Batteries running out on this. Oh, there's a motocrosser as well. Didn't see them coming. So, oh, there's a few of them. So, what I'm going to do is head off back now and uh, start editing later. That's fun. Oh. Oh. He fell. There's a bit of a steep step there, about maybe a foot, foot and a half, so he's obviously just had issues jumping up it. Oh, there's loads of them. Let's see if any of these can do any better. Oh, it's 
battery's low again still. Now I thought they weren't allowed motorbikes on here, but... They're obviously... Ah, loud. Oh, these are just naughty boys. Be the shit one. Get something to the back and kind of a little climb. But hey oh, right, head off. Onwards and upwards, as they say. And uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Okay, back in the car now, a good two, two and a half hours out and about at the Shire's Head, which was good, fully enjoyed it, nice little get out. A couple of things I've learned is I need some winter clothing, especially for the top layers, maybe a bobby hat as well, because it was cold, there was times I was better cold, man, especially some gloves, it'd be nice. A second lip, my new bag, I don't know if you can see it there, worked a treat, tripod fitting well, straps work wonders. I was a little worried because it's just a standard buckle strap and no actual physical clasps but it worked better than the other bag I've got with a clasp so that was good. Uh, secondly changing from a three-way head to that ball head there if you can see it. Uh, marvellous. Don't know why I've not done it sooner. Don't know why I didn't just sell it when I first got it for free my three-way head and got one of them. Awesome bit of kit. And the L bracket. Got myself a cheap L bracket for that as well. And it, yeah, it's so much better to just flip it rather than trying to turn it and, and get that shot. So yeah, overall, I'm happy with it this morning. We'll see how the pictures come out. Could be good. They might be shit, but we'll see. So yeah, that's it till next time. Uh, next video is probably Thailand, because I'm going to Thailand on Thursday. It's Sunday as well this morning, just so you know. So yeah, in a couple of days, flying off. So there'll be a couple of videos up of Thailand when I get back, probably mid to late December. So, yep, see you later.